And hello, it's Mac, and I'm back with Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. It has been a couple of weeks. It has been quite some time since I last played this game or posted a video of my playthrough series. But I am back now, and it's great to be back. Please let me get my bearings. Please. This episode six, you may recall from episode five that I did a mission shorthanded. I went in with three Grey Knights instead of the usual four-man squad. I did that in order to get more requisition. It was a glorious deed that I needed to uh, fulfill. And fulfill I did, but at a grave cost. My my Grey Knights, or at least two of them, are in sick bay, recovering. They will be recovering for, ooh, I think at least 20 days. Let's take a quick peek at their prognosis. Barracks. Okay, so Alwyn, critically wounded. That was on uh, the... That was like two missions back. But we have uh, Ulrich here who's wounded for 42 days. Okay, I was even uh, lowballing it there. Oh boy. Ulrich's up for 42 days. So, I mean, I can deploy him if I wish, but that's not a good idea, or so the game has told me. Darig here, uh, light wounds, 18 days, a mere 18 days. And Mithrak, light wounds as well. Uh, just a week. Fortunately for me, I've got uh, some new recruits. And because of uh, one of the upgrades I got, the new recruits at least start at rank 2. So they're not complete rookies. So on the bench, we have uh, Yulis Basque. He's an apothecary. We have it. Aegir, Aegir, Harn, another apothecary. We have Voldred Storm, Interceptor. I believe I've used Voldred Storm in a mission before. And we have Cadden Rugen, Purgator. I'm missing out on a Justicar. I quite like the Justicar class so far, as well as the Interceptor. I do have the option to recruit more. Uh, I guess that means two requisition to recruit another knight. Do I get to choose the? Uh... Do I get to choose the class? I only have four requisition remaining. Let me just see if I need to spend that poultry four requisition on something else before my next mission. So it says there in the bottom left corner, timeline, critical wound, all wound, crassus, unavailable for missions. Okay, he is critically wounded. So if you're critically wounded, you cannot, de you cannot be deployed anywhere, which makes sense. There's nothing pressing for me to do on the uh, Baleful Edict right now. Everything is still in progress in terms of research and construction. We have uh, the seed being researched. It's going to take another seven days to complete. Fair enough. And, uh... I went around the big circle just to get to the Manufactorum. But over here, uh, I have something being built. I don't remember what. Is it... I don't think I'm building anything right now. That's a slight problem. I think I lack servitors. What's being built? Oh, here we go. We have the stasis chamber. It's gonna take another seven days. Okay, okay. 
I was I was a little bit panicked. I thought nothing was being uh, built at the moment, but there is. Okay, let's go back to our uh, mission screen. So we are at um, Tier Tierteus sector, <laughs> and uh, we are at uh, this system. And we have this mission to do. Growing the bloom. Danger level medium. Pretty standard stuff here. Although I think it's going to have a lower enemy count. With only one of these unknown minion of chaos icons. So that's, that's, that's nice perhaps. Could be an easier one. I'm hoping. Objectives, seek and destroy the bloom spawn. And the glorious deed this time is kill eight enemies with ranged weapons. Ranged weapons, like ranged combat is actually not my favorite I've found so far. Mainly because I've been using a lot of the Justicars and Interceptors and they uh, excel at uh, melee combat. Seems like they do. Let's get let's get underway. Valor deed available. <sighs> Should I at least try to do this? Everyone's everyone on my team has ranged weapons, so it's not a huge stretch to try and go for this. If I fail the deed though, I get minus one requisition. Which which is quite punishing actually. I got to make sure to shoot first in this mission, but at least I get to take a full four-man team, which is nice. Let's go for it. Nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Ah, uh, 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 I always do that by accident. Okay. Let's get... Uh... Okay, uh, Cadden here is actually rank one. That sucks. Storm. Uh, let's get Mithrak out of here. Remove from squad. Go. Oh, I keep doing that. Uh, next up, we'll have uh, Cadden. Sure. Broken. Let's just call them by their last name. Seems to be easier for most of them. We got Storm, we got Rugen. Okay. I'll go over that. I'll go over that. Oh, I always do that. <laughs> okay, let's get an apothecary in there. Uh, Basque. Bosk. And for the final position, we shall get. We'll try recruiting somebody. A purgator? Shit. Titan has offered to send Zedric Varn, a rank 2 purgator, to support our campaign. If you wish to recruit a different knight, you'll have to wait until after our next combat mission. So you just take it or leave it. Which sucks, but whatever. Whatever. Varn. I should know. Is it Varn? Yeah, it's Varn. Vaughn. Vaughn. All right, now it's time to outfit these uh, boyos. Let's start at the top here. Storm Bolter. Uh, I want to give him a fancier Storm Bolter. Crit percentage. I have to take it from somebody else. Let's give him this one then. Crit damage. Oh, somebody else is using it. All right. Well, let's take it from uh, Crassus then. There's only so many guns to go around, unfortunately. Melee weapon. 
uh, we'll stick with the um, Falchons, the, du the dual swords here. We'll do it for the crit damage one. Yeah, this one's already taken, so we'll just leave it be. Yeah. Armor type, we're just uh, we're limited to the power armor, unfortunately. Although we can get a slightly fancier one here, which um, focus adds focus. This unit has plus ten percent focus, increasing their chance to trigger afflictions and autos. Hmm. Yeah, let's let's go for it. Oh, you need research to unlock that uh, perk. Ugh. Well, should I just like go back to the default then? Since it's only uh, yeah, research is required. I don't have the research unlocked, so I just go back to the default one. And the war gear. Um. I am thinking grenades. Give him the standard frag, which he already has. And we're good. Next up is uh, Rugen. Rugen is a purgator. Psy cannon. Uh, crit percent. Yeah. And then for the melee weapon, can I just give him a four sword? Warding stave. What are these do? What are... These are more defensive in nature. It has a chance to trigger Aegis Shield at the end of, a, of the end of their turn. Hmm. Hmm. Should I try it? What we also have the hammer. I don't think I can equip the hammer. Not if I want to equip the Psy Cannon. Got the warding stave. I can still cut the side cannon, right? Oh, shoot! Yeah, I need to equip the side cannon. Okay, I got it. I got it. So back to the four sword. Is that considered two-handed weapon too, though? Oh, man. It is, right? So what melee weapon can I use? Like, none? Because whatever I equip, it just unequips my ranged weapon. So I have a feeling I can't equip anything. Last try. Let's try the the, the Falchons. Yeah, see? What the hell? Never mind. Same deal again. Give this guy um, a crack grenade. This 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 one breaks armor. Uh, an apothecary this time. So for the apothecary here, so um, let me do the storm bolter, standard one. I'll try the warding staff on the uh, apothecary. Uh, 
Armor type should be the same. Oh, he can wear Terminator armor. Dope. Very dope. And, uh... Let's try using the Sacred Incense on the Apothecary. I don't know if he needs... I think he uses a lot of willpower, I think. Let's give it a try. And then finally, we have Varn, our newest member on the team. I have to upgrade him a bit. Honestly, I don't really know which direction to go with this guy. He's a purgator, right? So... Let me think here. Lean into his range abilities, maybe. Cybolt, range weapons. Oh, I, I can't unlock anything. Okay, it's already all signed. Right? Okay, okay, never mind. Oh, wait. No, I can't learn. I can learn. There we go. I just have to start from the beginning. This is a uh, crit damage, more ammo, nice range weapons. It's just all all depends if we want to go up or down here. Support fire or rapid reload. All right, let's go for. Uh, Let's try this. Let's try this. He, he yeah, okay. So he starts he, he basically gets his auto promotion because of uh yeah, everyone every all new recruits go to rank 2 automatically. Right. Okay, I think I'm ready. Well, except for him. Rugen gets no level up. That, that's strange. Alright, Rugen. Sucks to be you. Sucks to be you. Put in the yawn. Let's go back to the teleportarium. Stratagems. Almost forgot my stratagems. I only have one. Which is uh, target a knight who gains plus two AP. It's fine. And yeah, let's just start. Detected. The bloom spawn have infested this bastion of the Adeptus Ministorum. Vile blasphemy. The Plague Lord continues to taunt us with his detestable works. We must end it here. That we must. Yeah, I I have two minds about how this game does the presentation. Kind of cartoony at times, but at the same time cartoony but they put a lot of polish and pizzazz into certain things like how we uh, ap appeared on the battlefield it was very nice but then the environments here look extremely cartoonish it's almost like a mobile game you know i'll try not to dwell on it too much unleash me 
unleash me. So this is a straight uh, seek and destroy mission here, which is nice. Uh, I guess I have to go into the uh, building here. Should we just go straight down the middle? We just inch up. We're kind of like uh, setting ducks until we get to the get to the pillars over here, but we can just kind of move forward slowly. Yes, sir. I'll get the purgators um My blade is ever ready. moving My up first. I'm here to serve. Standing ready. So you move up a little bit more, maybe. Maybe not. Okay. The Emperor lights our path. I am here to serve. Storm. Get the interceptor. He um he can climb up. So we're gonna like get him over here. Ah! Be wary, my brothers. So, does that mean my... Yep, now that the enemy has showed up, we have our APs reset. What is your will? Oh, they use all of the AP. Oh no, my AP have not been reset. What am, I, what am I talking about? They've not been reset at all. Yeah. My blade is ever risk. Hmm. Okay. Standing ready. He can only go here. Oh, he can go over here. He can get under some partial cover. Okay, and I think I'll just sit tight with my apothecary. Yeah, I'll just sit tight. In turn. Oh, let me save first. Okay, um, let's go over here in combat four, over right. And we'll call it, uh, we can't rename it. it sucks. Alright, never mind. Okay. The enemy did not bother making their move. That was that was kind of strange. Unleash me. Moving now. Your orders. Two AP move, two AP. All these are two AP moves. Okay. Well, there's one AP over here. Let's go two AP. Here they are. Powers protect us. Just wait. Hunkered. Enemy sighted. Right. right now my APs are reset, which is g cool. Your orders. Moving I can swiftly. probably get a shot on him from here now. Right. Yep. I'll just straight shoot him. 
select the target. If I cybolt him, I'll almost kill him. Let's do it. We bring death. Oh, he's dead. He's straight up dead. Nice. It made it seem like he would just be like down to a very few health points, but he, he's dead. I'll take it. My blade is yours. If I do Overwatch, oh, actually, it can go quite far. I can't really. Uh, I have no line of sight on anyone. So yeah, I'll do Overwatch. I'm gonna pick this angle, or yeah, I'll pick here. There we go. At once, Commander. a 3 AP move right here. Go for it. Kind of coax them into coming in for an attack. I can actually uh, maybe set up a overwatch trap this way. <laughs> Alright, let's... Uh, We can do it like that. Now, I guess I'm gonna move my apothecary. That's three EP. Can't you just climb up this way? That's weird. I can't. Don't let me move up the wall. I have to take the stairs. What? What? Uh, that's that's messed up. That that's really disappointing, actually. Why so lame? So, if I move here, I may be able to get a shot on the guy hiding behind the crate. Maybe? Ah, oh, no. Well, that was, uh, that was a waste. <laughs> Oh, I got eight shield. What? No Overwatch? What the hell, man? Oh, here we go. Here's a good spot. What? This is bull, man. Like their Overwatch is like pointing straight up in the air. Like I thought I was. Overwatching like this zone, but they totally were just overwatching like up in the sky. I do not approve of this at all. <laughs> uh, let's just finish him off, I guess. Right. And we can even do a little bit of a heal. How do I heal my friend? Are you serious?
Oh. I thought the uh, Apothecary had some kind of default uh, heal ability. But, uh... Yeah, like, what, what the hell? Is it because he's too low level? Oh my goodness. I have an Apothecary who can't heal anyone. There's a Psychic Blast, target Blast over Area 3 at range 15 to afflict Hobbled. Yeah, that's not a healing thing. This is just his own um, Psychic Boon. What the heck? The Emperor <laughs> lights our path. Standing ready. I just got a Stabby Stab. I have to go stabby stab on this, on this boy. And hit him again. Justice. Real good. And uh, I'll take a crack at him. That's uh that's a kill. You, my wrath. Targets destroyed. Nice. Let's uh use this time to I can't reload. I have like full AP again. What does this icon mean? Oh my goodness, I did like a. <laughs> Never mind. Praise the Emperor. As you will. What is your will? Here. Oh, this is a new turn. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to tell when there's a new turn or, or, or what. Purify the blues with the extract seed and gain plus one WP. Okay. Ah, uh, so that's what that does. Let's inch forward a little bit. Vaughn. Vaughn. Your command. You still got two AP. It will be done. Blum rises, we're at seventy percent now. Let me give it a quick save here. Ready. 
Where is the next uh, enemy position? That is the question. Unleash me. Yes, Commander. Stack up. My blade is yours. Standing ready. Your orders? The thing is, we can't move too slowly because the bloom is always rising, and then once it hits 100%, bad things happen. So far, we do have a uh, hundred percent. What is your will? Range kills. Is it good? As ordered. Breaking shit. Yeah, where is where is the next enemy position? That is the question. Yes, Commander. The Emperor lights our path. Rugen. Rugen. Praise the Emperor. That's three AP. This is a very large map, actually. I have a feeling, um, because we... killed the guys here, maybe we have to go this way. What we could do is... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Keep going this way, maybe. Go up one more flight of steps. flight can't really move and we hit 100% bloom we got warp surge now reinforces gain plus one reinforcement it's wonderful Okay, we are Nobody at your service. Okay, unleash me. We're going to have to like uh, go As ordered. I have to go left from here on out, I think. We go this way, maybe. Yeah, go we'll end the turn here. Since there's pretty much nothing to do, I could just move a little bit. How far can I move? Okay, 
can move over here. This guy can move up a teensy bit. Teensy weensy. So can you. Yes. a lot of time just gonna it will be done my blade is yours standing ready it's not the best place to be moving You can like move up here. I don't know. Where's everyone? Unleash me. Moving swiftly. My blade is yours. Jeez. Your orders? Moving out. Standing ready. Is everyone praise the Emperor? This is your one. I don't, I'm not catching sight of any new enemies. Jeez, where is everyone? Oh, jeez. Did I just have to head straight here? Was that... The, oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was the... the good thing I didn't keep going uh, that way. That would have been bad. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I guess that should have been obvious, eh? Standing ready. My blade is you. He's got, uh, I am here to serve. Hello. 
stirs within the shadows. <sighs> your command. At your sword. What is your will? At once. All right, all right. So they're just gonna wait for me to bust in, eh? Well, what we could do is have this guy yes, Commander. get up here. The cover is just partial. It's not great. My blade is ever ready. I'm here to serve. Your orders? Advancing! Have him kick open the door. Let me save because I don't remember if I can just open a door, see the enemies, and then have all my action points be set right there and then or not. So I'm just going to be safe about this. We have some new enemy types here. Oh, these are um, Chaos Marines. Uh oh. Oh, Chaos Marines, eh? We shall claim victory with blood. Defend the Bloom Spawn? We have here a uh, plague marine. Also a plague marine. What are these things? Malignant growth. Okay. Disgusting. Who's got a grenade? Here. I do, I do, says uh, Storm. Fuck, can't throw it at shit. I gotta move in first, that's why. It's gonna be two AP just to move in there. If you do, um, your overwatch has no range. <laughs> Jeez. Yes, Commander. Praise the Emperor. Oh, you just stopped short. But they're not clumped together, so it's not really worth it doing that, doing it that way. Yeah. Can't get a shot off. Can't get a shot off. Standing ready.
But once. Well, I don't do much damage at all. It's a beating. Okay, um... I was thinking of teleporting, but maybe I don't need to. I can cut him down, actually. If I go here, and then I just go here, I can finish him off. Destroyed, Commander. And then I still have one AP to get under cover. Nobody's behind me, so I can just go go here. I am with you. Full cover. Okay, and then I gotta get uh, Rugen back in a position here. Yeah, I can't hit. Can't hit shit. I don't know. I don't think I'll catch anything, but I'll give it a give it a try. They shall not pass. What is he doing? Oh man, he went around my overwatch. But he shot uh, my apothecary, he's very well shielded. Damn, reinforcements. I see you on just waiting. Ugh. Tainted blades. Alright, so we got a bit of a problem here. So these guys are immune to damage now? Is that what I saw just now? No, right? We got reinforcements coming from the outside here. So I should probably just move my, swing my guys around into this corner, converge on this, this guy, just take this guy out completely. Um, sounds good. Can this guy shoot at him? Can't shoot at him. Unless I move over here. 
I'll move behind him. Two AP to move him over this way. But I'll have my back to this wizard. What is, what is this actual? Apostate preacher. So he disabled melee on one of my guys last turn. Let's try. Let's go real close. What is your will? Oh shit. What is this? Psychic onslaught? It's it's way, I'm way too close for that. Oh, I should have thought about that before. For the Emperor. Feel my wrath. Oh, he's dead. Oh, no, he just got knocked down. I thought he's dead. I just finished him off. So I don't need to reload. I still have three rounds. What I want to do is see if I can grenade. But I, before I do this, I want to actually uh, reposition. I actually want to save just in case. I want to move here, get away from this position where the new enemies are going to come in from, right? The guy's out here already, too. So, this guy's already in a bad position. I can't, he's out of AP, so I can't do shit. So, move, move him over here. So, I can still toss a grenade. Yes, I can. Shall elude my gaze. Hmm. Yeah, that wasn't the most effective uh, play there. I still have one more grenade on the squad, so. I'm gonna move my buddies. Move over to my buddies. Nice jump. Destroy one of these pustules. His will. You have been yeah! I'm pinned. Attack! Kill them all. They will not see me here. <laughs> oh, I see you. You're not fooling anyone. Oh, 
fortress. Two turns of virtual kill. I gotta, I gotta kill him, eh? Oh, nice. Can I just like take them all out? One. I could grenade these um, cultists, but they're all kind of spaced out, and I have. Uh, I think I'll have better impact if I just grenade the rest of this grouping here. I just want to see why this guy doesn't take any damage at all. He just has some special buff here, right? I have to break his armor first. He has a lot of armor. But I guess if I destroy the bloom spawn, we're good to go, right? Do it. Another one down. And is he vulnerable now? Yes, he is. Knocked him on his ass. Get out of there! I can. S I can spend a lot of uh, resources and uh, psychic energy to just like wail on this guy. Empty. Uh, to reload on his next turn. Hey, let me. Uh... Real good. I do have a shot on him, but I'm I'm. I need to get under cover. I chip away the doorway. Is that the reload? I do have to reload. That's your turn. Set up is pinned. Right. Affliction. Afflicted target loses minus one AP for their turn. Okay. Okay. Son of a bee. I don't have a shot. Oh, I'm empty as well. Oh, let's reload. Yeah, I don't have a shot. What if I do Overwatch? I can't really do Overwatch either. It's too, too many obstructions. What if I move a little bit then? Not the oh, I want to just move out the way. Okay, it's up to you. It's up to you. I can't hit him. I just go in. I just go in and slice them. I still have to kill three enemies with ranged weapons, though, so I shouldn't. Uh... Ah, it's a cute. Oh, wait. 
You know, I got full. I got full clip. Let me move first. Get an angle on him. Now I can shoot. There we go. And I'll finish him off with Cybolt. Oh shit. Okay, so I didn't get a chance to finish off the rest of the enemies. So I didn't get the, uh... The bonus. That's a shame. Lost one requisition for failing the glorious deed. Sucks. But I was kind of under too much pressure to kill the uh, apostate preacher, right? If I if I let him complete the ritual, that would have been bad. Could he have completed the ritual since I destroyed all the uh, the bloom spawn around him? These sort of things. I feel like you just have to learn as you go because the game doesn't really explain enough about the uh, the finer details of completing the missions. Well, we get to um, spend some of our requisition. Uh, I have a lot less <laughs> compared to uh, previous uh, post missions. Uh, let's see here. Okay. It's a uh, unguent of uh, warding tier 1. Pass of the night gains plus 15% resistance, which increases their chance to prevent a negative affliction. Or I could get devotion. Is a armor upgrade? Yeah, it's oh, it's a type of power armor. Pardon me. It has to do with resistances as well. Or we get a rank three Grey Knight just a car. Oh, that's that's pretty dope too. Ooh, decisions, decisions. Getting a rank 3 just car would be pretty valuable. Let's let's go for that. Oh, we can go for both. Right? As long as I'm willing to spend. I'll skip on this uh, warding. Un unguents of warding. I'll skip I'll skip that one. So I'll get this uh, new power armor as well and the uh uh, Harn, Dyrus Harn. Cool. Okay, uh, Storm, so lightly wounded, is gonna be out for 14 days. Everyone else is cool. No promotions, oh, no promotions, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, I want to advance time and see if I can uh, get some of these. I can still make it to the next uh, sector and to handle the uh, mission there. Ten days left. Oh shoot. No, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it to either of these actually. Mission unreachable in time, right? Yeah, same with this one. So, looks like I'm screwed. So, what is a tune prognostic car again? It adds three days.
Can I just attune the destination planet? I can just make it. So now I can just make it. Okay. Here we go. Oh, looks like Crassus got some augmentics installed. Commander, I'm pleased to report that Brother Olwyn Crassus has recovered from his critical wounds and can return to combat duty. Due to his injury, we needed to install the augmentic joint reinforcement, and the Chief Apothecary estimates he will require 49 days to recover to full strength. This augmentic has no effect on the Knight's performance and will not appear in their ability loadout. Well, I guess if you have to. Let's keep traveling. Oh. It is clear that these seeds are fragments of some vile artifact saturated with corruption. Once fused with organic life, they spread rapidly from the host, afflicting whole populations with a deadly plague. All according to the plague god's desires. Yes, but what confounds me is how it spreads so quickly between solar systems. I have issued an interdiction order for this sector. Interplanetary travel will be limited. With the Emperor's mercy, it will buy us some time. Denial! The Baleful Edict is far too damaged to begin a new campaign. And yet it must. This bloom is already ripening, evolving fast towards some dire purpose. Would you truly turn your back on the trillions of souls the Plague God threatens to devour? Never. But how do you propose we stop it? This seed radiates a psychic imprint from what I believe to be some kind of origin. With further research, I will be able to pinpoint that location. I would rather we simply purge them. That is the difference between us, Purifier. You are the hammer, but I am the one with the burden to wield it. Destroying it now would silence the only lead we have. If I can prove these seeds all radiate from the same destination, then we can follow that trail and destroy the source of the Bloom's power. Challenge. You said seeds. You deduce much from only one. You are correct, Tech Priest. I need more. One is not sufficient to prove my theory. Commander. You must send out your knights to harvest Seed more. hunt. Limp around the sector with more of this corruption in my hold? I agree it is far from ideal, Dominus. But if the Inquisitor can locate the source of this corruption, then I advise we comply with her request. <laughs> Affirmative. Excellent. We have no time to waste. Well, this was a productive meeting. Research project complete, the seed. As the bloom ripens, its seeds call out to a hidden concentration of cancerous energy. Yet this is their critical flaw. I can use the psychic resonance to track a spore to the... Did you misspell spore? Spore to the source and unleash your grey knights upon it. In the meantime, they must harvest the seeds I require. Plus one requisition. Start new research. And we get to talk to Vakir. Uh, shall we talk to her? Let's start the research first. Okay, so. On the second tier, we can go into advanced seed access. We need more seeds in order to understand this bloom, but they have proved frustratingly volatile. I believe I can devise customized tools to aid in extracting them whole before their carriers are destroyed. And I'm able to research because I have the prerequisites. All the others, I oh, these ones I do as well. 
Do these ones give me more uh, gameplay advantage? Possibly. This is gonna take for the advanced seed 29 days. Okay, all these will take 29 days. So, this is gonna help with uh, well, give me a stratagem, I guess, called heal. Very useful. This is for teleportation. This one is afflict immobilized one turn. This is all nice game plus 50% crit for one turn. So this this researching this is useful because it's gonna propel the story forwards, but it doesn't really do much for making my team stronger. This makes things overall like easier. Things do not corrupt this quickly. Oh uh, yeah, this, this is tough. I think I might go for the heal. Just to put a little, uh, just to invest back to my team a little bit. Delay the uh, progress of the campaign story just a touch. Yeah. Talk to Vakir. You have my attention, Knight. Do you doubt me, Commander? The psychic resonance that covers each seed leaves a spore I can follow. The more we collect, the stronger the trail to the Nexus. I do not know where the psychic scent will lead us yet. What I can tell you is that these seeds have been germinating for some time. They require a safe location where the warp has already taken hold in the materium, one that would not readily fall under our scrutiny. Somewhere they could be left undisturbed for centuries. Several hundred, undoubtedly. I will put it plainly, the Lords of Chaos are powerful indeed, but we both know they cannot act in real space with total impunity. This plague has been in the works for a long, long time. Do I bore you? <laughs> of course not. Is this the first time you have worked with the Grey Knights? To be honest, I had doubted your chapter's very existence until recently. It would appear the old adages are true. There is strength in secrecy. I contacted the Ordo directly for martial support. The only response was a set of coordinates. I followed them, and the edict appeared shortly after. You can imagine my surprise. The Ordo has the best prognosticators, unrivaled in reading the Emperor's Tarot. And there are other methods of divination that the ignorant would call heretical. What matters is that the Emperor clearly meant for us to intersect. Nurgle's plague must be stopped. Yeah, in the in the few stories that I've read uh, in 40k, the Inquisitors, I find often uh, bend the rules a little bit to achieve their aims, right? If we must. It's a very common trope, actually, in in uh, 40k stories involving Inquisitors, because I think this was also the case when I played uh, Inquisitor Martyr. We dealt with uh, Inquisitors uh, in that story that uh, did some uh, uh, shady things in order to achieve their goals, let's just say. I think that's it. My research beckons. And I am still limping along. Commander, let us be efficient. Yes. Preliminary analysis suggests their origin lies prior to the Great Heresy. Although origins remain unknown, further study is required, although the Inquisitor's requirements take precedence. The machine spirits can be corrupted by the warp like any soul. 
Her heretic spread scrap code. Spirits that were once honorable now serve the, the dark powers to ruinous algorithms. I once had the opportunity to study a predator tank that served the Black Legion. Its machine spirits were corrupted and vicious, and desperate to spread their taint even into my own blessed machinery. An instructive experience, but I was forced to destroy them before observing the limits of their behavior. Waiting for new input. Ownership is irrelevant. My duty is to her. <laughs> the question of propriety regarding the ships and the Imperial and Astartes navies is as old as the pact that brought the Emperor and Mars into alignment, Commander. Hmm. Its storied history eclipses that of anyone currently involved. Undoubtedly, I was assigned to the Edict centuries before you were conceived. This was a ship that carried several Grand Masters earlier in their service. Historic history eclipses that of anyone currently aboard, and I will avoid her coming to harm at all costs. Waiting for new input. The flesh is weak. Repairs to the Apothecary and our ongoing commander. There are difficulties working with organic test subjects. Un unargumented human bodies are annoyingly fragile. In any case, we have salvaged several dialysers found in the debris of the site. They should streamline all apothecary procedures and have been passed on to Brother Ektar for reconsecration. Waiting for new input. I must attend to repairs. Very good. And let's talk to Ektar. Do you seek wisdom, Commander? I am no ancient, but might be of some help. The cost of working with the Inquisition, brother. She would have us suppress our righteous wrath to gather her research fodder. The Inquisitor's methodology has proved fruitful. No, I would prefer to purge Nurgle's servants on sight in holy fire. But the Inquisitor's methodology has proved fruitful. Let her lead us to this nexus and we shall fall upon it with the righteous fury of the Emperor himself. By all means. Nurgle is a powerful and detestably creative enemy. Yes, countless times I've battled through hundreds of infected, only to see them rise again as demons from the corpses. The Plague God does not simply desire death and destruction like corn. He plays with life, changes it, shifts it into a twisted and corrupted image of his own devising, and his foul works adapt relentlessly to survive. We must purify every last trace of this plague, or it will transform into something new and spread once again. Whatever best helps you, Commander. We are the Hammer. That wasn't that wasn't a whole lot of wisdom from Ektar. I'm disappointed. Uh let's finish the last leg of our journey here. Oh, look at that. That's what I was counting on. We have finished the stasis chamber. Commander, I am pleased to inform you that the stasis chamber has been re-established. The bodies of your fallen brothers can now be interned without further obstacles or temperature fluctuations in storage. A thrilling achievement, yes? Um, you know what? I'm not... I'm not up to picking my next research project. I'm going to actually conclude... Uh, this episode right right about now I'll do a save I'll do it on ship four I wish I could edit the uh... oh there you go it's got six okay And that uh, wraps it up for this episode of uh, Warhammer 40k Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me oh, through another mission and through some uh, progress on board the Baleful Edict. I'll return um, soon, hopefully with a longer episode where I do more missions at once. But I kind of like just dropping in, doing a mission 
going through some dialogue, going through some, uh, you know, in between uh, uh, administrative work, let's say, and then uh, ending the stream, uh, ending not the stream, but the video right there. So thank you once again. If you like what you saw, please uh, like this video and uh, subscribing to my channel would be wonderful as well. Uh, growing, growing steadily, but slowly. And uh, I would love to have your support. I very much appreciate it. Until next time, uh, stay safe and uh, keep gaming. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.